My name's Artis Watkins. I'm the executive director of the State Employees Association of North Carolina and appreciate the opportunity to speak um, briefly here. We are, for the most part, uh, fine with this bill as an association in terms of our opinion of it. And the university system has a lot of things in there they need to do. We understand that. And we appreciate all the work uh, Matt Brody and uh, Bart Goodson and everybody else at the university has done sitting down and <coughs> discussing it with us. We really do appreciate it. We think there are good people in place at the university system, and we don't think they're trying to hurt people. Unfortunately, this particular, the, the part of this bill that would allow salary reductions could, in fact, hurt people, and n unnecessarily. Uh, with all due respect to Representative Hardister, uh, the bill doesn't say if there's a disaster like COVID, you can cut salaries. It says if there's a budget reduction. So if there's a budget reduction by a dollar, Anybody in charge could, in fact, cut wages by 10%. This is a huge bill. This is a huge development if it passes. And it just, it, it's amazing to me it's flown by so far because it would affect the people who can least afford it. And the problem here is, for years I've heard in the General Assembly, well, you know, the university's not doing a great job balancing its budget. And that was in response to me asking for salary increases for university employees. I don't think that was necessarily a fair thing to say. But if that's the belief, is that the university has struggled to, main, you know, to keep its budget, why in the world would you give them the power, after a budget reduction, to, to cut people's salaries? as the response to that. That doesn't make sense to me. It seems to me that the General Assembly has prided itself in the good job it did as a body of making sure North Carolina was able to weather something as massive as COVID. And we were one of the shining stars in the country, is my understanding. So wouldn't we expect all of government to do that before they go to the folks who can least afford it to get us through a disaster? That's what we're asking. So we would prefer not to see a provision about cutting salaries at all. We think it's wrong, and we think it's contrary to everything this General Assembly has espoused. But I do appreciate the opportunity to say that to you today, and uh, look forward to working with everybody in the future. Thank, Thank you. you, Ms. Watkins.